Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue doing the analysis on the FIFA 2008 dataset. Uh, so this time we are going to do uh, some heat maps uh, and to see how uh, attributes are related to the different positions of players. So we are going to see how we can analyze in a matrix manner uh, through a heat map, how these different attributes impact or are important for each position. We will be identifying the top 10 players for each position so that we can make our lineup of our dream team. So I recommend watching the first three videos before this one because there I explain how to do some calculated fields and some parameters that we'll be using in this analysis. Okay, so let's start. So once you have already um, your data uh, connected, you just need to enter your data set. And this is what we are going to do. We want to do something like this. So we want to have a kind of a heat map that is telling me uh, for each position, what are the most important attributes. So for doing that, I just need to take um, the dimension here, preferred positions that is going to be on columns. In the lines, I'm going to take all these variables and I want to put them in the line. So for doing that, I'm going to just say add that I want the names of the variables in the lines. So I want to see all the names of the variables in the line, but I don't want to see all the variables because otherwise I will have also like um, the different scores of CAM, CB, CDM, and I don't want that. So I'm just going to say that I want to filter. Um, so I'm going to choose only those that are important. So the first thing is that I'm going to say, I don't want any attribute. And then I select those that I want to see. So I'm going to select, uh, let's say, acceleration, aggression, agility, balance, bow control, this no, composure, crushing curve, dribbling, finishing, and free kicking. And I could also choose the others, but let's stick with this, okay? So I say I only want those. Okay, but now I need to see the values here. So for now, I don't have anything. So I want to see the values. So for doing that, I'm going to take um, the variable that is called uh, measure values, which is uh, generated automatically by Tableau. And I'm going to just uh, grab it and put it here in colors. If you can see, is taking in consideration the sum, and I don't want the sum, I want to have the mean. So I just need to go in um, measure values here and click and change the measure. So I'm going to change it by the mean, and now it looks better. So this is what it's showing is that, uh, so these are the preferred positions by players. Um, so for example, CAM is the central attacking middle field. Um, so I can see that those that have a um, darker blue are the attributes that count the most for that position. So I can see, for example, that um, the acceleration is pretty important, um, that the agility is also pretty important, um, also balance and dribbling. So I can choose what are the um, attributes or, yeah player attributes that are important according to their preferred position. So for now, we have only like the color, but we could also add the information so it's easier for us to, to see it. So for doing that, we just need to take again the value, the measure value, and we are going to say that I want to have the text. So I want to keep it like this. So now I have um, the color but I also have the value. So it's easier for the eye to, to just uh, identify those uh, measures where um, they score the highest. So I know that a balance agility, then acceleration, then um, dribbling, and then uh, bar control, uh, then I have composure and so on. So I can choose for each of the preferred positions what are the best um, attributes or the most important attributes. Now what I want to do is I want to select the best players for position. Now for doing that, I'm going to use the variables here, the different variables of uh, scores in their positions, because 
um, this is not going to tell me much. So I want to see what are the top players for each of these positions. So I want to have this. So I'm going to show you how you do it. So, so the first thing we need to do for doing that is to create a parameter. Um, because I want to have all these uh, different positions to be uh, to be created in just one uh, variable that I can choose uh, in my dashboard and to see depending on the variable I choose what are the players that score the best on those. So for creating a parameter, I'm just going to show you how, but you can also see it on the first one. Is you need to click here on top and you say I want to create a parameter right and so you choose the name of your parameter i already did it so i'm going to show you so i created the name and say it's called position uh now i, I have to uh, select chain of characters because it's what i'm going to uh, build so i want to have all the values that i have here for position i want to have them here as a list so i have a central attacker middle field uh, center back and all the other positions. So I have to add them all and I say, okay. And then I have to create the calculated fields that are um, relevant to that uh, parameter. So again, I say create a calculated field. Okay, so I already did it, but I'm going to show you um, how it's done. So we need to create two, two calculated fields. So the first one is the one that is trying to understand what uh, happens if the user or you choose uh, a specific position from this list. So it's where do I retrieve data from? So um, I call it position measure and I'm going to show you how you write it. So I just need to tell to create a case when I'm going to use the data or the values from the parameter position here. And I'm going to say that each time I get, um, or the user selects, for example, CAM, then give me the average of CAM. Uh, if um, uh, if the user selects CB, then give me the average of CB. So you have to do uh, this for each of your variables. And at the end, when you finish, you just uh, write end. So that's the first calculated field. And now I have to create a second one to create all the labels for those. So again, create calculated field. So it's kind of the same thing as this one, sorry. Um, but I just want to convert those um, positions selected in the parameter into a label. So I just have to say that again, I'm going to use a case with the parameter position. So when the user selects cam, then show me uh, the label cam. Uh, when they choose CB, then show me label CB and so on. Until you finish all the variables, you put end. Okay, so now I have it. And now what we want to do is to see that uh, what are the best players by position uh, so that you can select the best players for your dream team, okay? So the first thing is that I'm going to tell uh, Tableau to show me the parameter. Uh, so I have the parameter here, so it means that each time I change from position, then I can see what are my top players. Okay, so this is what I want. Um, I'm going just to take my uh, position a measure that I created and I'm going to put it on the columns right okay um, so this is already taken in consideration the mean so I don't have to change that and now what I want to see is the best players for that uh, specific position so for doing that I'm going to take my uh, uh, my dimension name and I'm going to put it in the line. So I have many. So this is what Tableau is telling me is that um, this variable has uh, too many data. Uh, so it's kind of going to be really difficult. So uh, it already um, suggests me some actions here. So I want to make a filter. So this is what I'm going to say that I'm going to filter and then add. So I want to choose only the top 10 players for position. So I'm going to just choose top here, and I'm going to say that I want the first 10 uh, um, based on the position measure. So on the measure that uh, they have on the position I selected. 
Okay, so I say, okay. So now uh, it's showing me the best players for the position I selected here. And you can just order this uh, according to um, the order you want. So in this case, I'm going to say, okay, I want to uh, have the order and I want the, um, so I want to have um, decrease in order okay and measure that i want and of course it's personalized so i can see for example um let's see that for the central attacking uh, middle field i have uh leonardo messi at top then i have cristiano ronaldo then neymar hazard iniesta reus modric uh, de Bruyne, bale robin so these are the 10 players the 10 best players for that position that have best score in that position so center back I have Sergio Ramos, Bonucci, Chiellini, Godin, Thiago Silva, Hummels, Boateng, Piqué, uh, Javi Martinez, and Vidal. And so I can change from, okay, left forward, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, Aguero, Lewandowski, Bale, Hazard. So I can have the top 10 players by position, and this is um, pretty interesting if you want to uh, create your dream team. Okay, so that's all for this uh, video. Uh, if you want to know how to do um, correlation matrix and uh, how to create uh, rather graphs, uh, just watch the next video that is coming soon. We will continue analyzing uh, FIFA 2018 data with Tableau in the following uh, videos. So thank you for being here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this content. Bye bye.